Hello hi folks, it's Love. Welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new, I use hearing pronouns. It's literally 11 p.m. here right now and I'm filming a video because I have way too much energy and it's a video idea I have, I've had in mind for a couple of months now, but I just really didn't have the energy to really talk about it and it's looking at transphobic memes and challenging transphobic memes um, but today 11 p.m on this day I, I just do have energy so I'm going to film a video talking about transphobic memes and challenging it and combating it and all of this very hard work stuff that trans people always have to do. <laughs> Uh, as usual with my meme videos, it's actually been a while since I made a meme video. Um, I'll be putting the memes over here, but I'll be looking down at my other phone just to look at the meme. First meme. Dad, I saw you wearing a dress. Are you trans? My teacher tells me that it's a real thing and I should be respectful. The dad is saying, no, I'm just crazy. If anyone asks, the unicorns tell me to dress that way. Firstly, firstly, gender expression and gender identity are two very different things and clothes don't define someone's gender. Clothes don't define someone's gender. Regardless of gender, people can dress however they feel comfortable. If a man wants to wear a skirt, that's fine. If a woman wants to wear shorts, that's fine. It doesn't... I don't, I don't see why this is a problem. Like clothes shouldn't be, I've talked about this in another video before. Clothes should not be gendered and people can just dress however they want to dress and whatever feels most comfortable to them. It's just like fabric. Imagine like clothes are just fabric or whatever it's made of. It's just to keep us warm and to like, so we don't do indecent exposure. But like, I, I don't understand why it's such a big deal when men wear skirts and dresses. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything to anyone. But anyway, um, and yes, gender identity and gender expression are two very different things. It's a, a man, say I'm a trans, I, I am a trans guy. I'm a trans guy, right? Say if I wore a dress, it doesn't make me a woman. If I wore a skirt, it doesn't make me a woman. If I put on make makeup, it doesn't make me a woman. If I grow up my hair again, it doesn't make me a woman. Because none of these things define gender identity and my presentation, the way I dress, the way I talk, does not change the fact that I'm a man. It doesn't change it. Um, but the, uh, it's a real thing and I should be respectful. Absolutely. Um, I don't even know what to say to the unicorn thing, to be honest. Um, clothes don't define gender identity. All right. Second meme. It says it's, uh, also I got all these memes off Reddit. Um, credits go to original owners or posters of the memes. Um, someone responding to someone else on Twitter saying, Transgender people identify as men and or women. Keyword identify. They can act like one and pretend to be one, but they weren't born as one. Firstly, on the language of identify, I particularly don't like it because I am a trans man. Like I don't say I identify as a man or identify as a trans man. It's because I am a trans man. So I say I am trans or I am a trans man. I don't say identify as trans. It's same with my my race, like I'm Vietnamese Australian. I don't say I identify as Vietnamese. I say I am Viet because that's who I am. Um, as for people acting and pretending to be to be trans, if cis people, like actual like cis people who aren't trans, pretend to be trans. It's a completely different issue and it's not the same thing as trans people and us, like trans people, me, my community, just living our best selves, living our truth and just wanting to participate in society and community, just like the cis people in the world, um, just, you know, have hobbies, have jobs, have friends, have relationships, do 
all the very hu human things that everyone does. Um, that's very different from cis people who pretend to be trans. Um, and it's also different from people who think that, like that the cis people, like actual cis people pretending to be trans for to mock people or like um, pretend or whatever is completely different from people who, th who have been taught they're cis but they might think they're trans. That's not who I'm talking about. I'm talking about cis people who, who who are actually cis pretending to be trans. Probably for um, transphobia and to mock trans people. Um, as for, and I was born a trans because being trans is not a choice. It's just like, no one chooses their hair color. No one chooses their eye color. No one chooses height. It's like, we're born with this. It's like, no one chooses to have like, you know, no one chooses to come out of the womb with like two hands with like five fingers on each hand. It's just, it just is. And same with my trans identity. I didn't choose to be trans. Um, it just, it just is. I really don't know how else to explain it. Um, it's not a choice, just like how people don't choose to be cis, trans people don't choose to be trans, non-binary people don't choose to be non-binary, agender people don't choose to be agender, etc. All right, the third meme. No more people living their lives, not bothering anyone, trans people, and it's a character like doing this. And I, I think my interpretation of this meme is that cis people, the whole normal people language is wrong. I'm going to get to that later. Uh, cis people living their lives and trans people just decide to, I don't know, exist in the world and just uh, apparently fuck everything up and uh, annoy all the cis people and, um, you know, take away all their rights and uh, change the whole world so that the whole system is based around trans rights and inclusivity and all the cis people are excluded and cis people no longer have rights and just trans people, you know, um, wrecking havoc on the world because we have so much privilege and have so much time and energy just to make other people's lives miserable because our lives are miserable enough and difficult enough. Therefore, we just go and bother cis people and just to annoy them. And if you didn't get that, it was sarcasm. Um, firstly, the language of normal people is really bad because it's saying that trans people are abnormal and that cis people are, are like... No, I, don't, I don't even know. It's saying that trans people are abnormal and that there's something wrong with us. Um, also, what does normal mean? And like, I don't think anyone's normal, to be honest. Um, um, yeah, that's bad because it's saying trans people are abnormal and we're like, yeah, I, I'm just gonna stop there because I wanna go in a circle. Um, also, trans people existing doesn't bother anyone except for people who are very close-minded and not open to learning and think the whole world revolves around them. And um, yeah, I don't know. Like before I came out as trans and before I realized and learned that trans people existed, which is like, my early 20s, um, people just live in their lives. Like, I do, it doesn't, like even when I was living as, okay, let me explain this. Even when I was living as cis, the existence of trans people didn't bother me, probably because I didn't know about the, the existence of trans people, but even if I knew about the existence of trans people, it wouldn't have bothered me as someone who was living as cis. I said living as cis, not saying I am cis, living as cis because I didn't know I was trans. Um, it didn't bother me. And I don't know why some cisgender people are so bothered by the existence of trans people. Like, 
me existing, my people existing, doesn't take away your rights. Actually, we, you still have your rights. And cis people in power don't want to progress trans rights and trans equality and trans um, to call it trans laws in some places. Some places it's illegal to be trans. Um, so it's actually the other way around that trans people are living their lives and not bothering anyone and cis people are being like, we don't like these people and we have power and we have privilege. So let's just make their lives harder because we got to like, you know, keep everyone cis because being trans is abnormal. Um, it's actually cis people in power who are bothering trans people and not the other way around because we have fuck all power. And um, the, role, the world is coming into this world. Kids are taught that being cis is default for lack of better words and that that's the that's the way everyone should be fourth meme um i have seven memes in total and i don't know why i did five when i was saying seven ignore that next meme and it's evolutionary scale and when it reached human point and it uh the human the homo sapien encounters a person asking what are your pronouns the human turns back the other way and says go back we fucked up because we evolved to the point where we're, we're being more inclusive right we've we humans have got to the stage and point in time uh where we're being more inclusive um trying to create a safer, kinder world for everyone, where this is accessible, inclusive, um, respectful, um, because, and apparently transphobes want to go backwards because having respect for people is too hard and um, uh, words scare them. So pro pronouns are literally just words, like he, her, they, them, did I say he, him, the, for example, I'm not saying these, these are like the exhaustive list. He, her, she, her, she, her, sorry, my brain's a little fried. Uh, she, her, he, him, they, them, uh, et cetera. Also you, we, I are all pronouns. Um, pronouns are too difficult. Words are too difficult. Basic human respect is too difficult. Therefore, we must go back in time to a time where less attention and awareness was, um, there was less awareness about trans people and trans experiences and inclusivity. So we must go back to a time where that was worse because words, uh, some people can't be bothered uh, respecting the words they call someone by. That's actually quite tragic because again, pronouns are literally just words. It's like, when we go up to someone we don't know, right? We don't, we don't, we aren't bothered by asking the person your, for like, what's your name? Yet, uh, some transphobes are bothered by pronouns because they don't want to learn my like i've said this before in videos too but i think transphobia comes from people being raised in a world like that's all of us right all of us are raised in a world where we've been taught that being cis is this fault and the right way to be and that anything other than being cis is wrong and should be shamed, should be discouraged, um, is wrong and people need to stop being trans and all of this shit. Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> yes, we're all been taught that. I was taught that, that's why I had a lot of internalized transphobia when I was coming out as trans. We have all been taught this. Um, and the people who are scared of 
pronouns and just in a lot of denial and projecting a lot of insecurity and fear about change and the world not being how they see it and the way they've been taught the world operates scares them. Therefore, they project a lot of this, whatever it is, psychological and emotional baggage onto a group of marginalized people who did nothing wrong and just want to say, like, res to be respected just like cis people. So, I think people who transphobic people really need to look into themselves and ask where is this coming from and like why? Like why are you doing this? Seriously, like ask yourself why am I doing this? Why am I spewing transphobia? Why am I so scared of pronouns? Like why? What is the underlying reason? Because projecting at a trans people is just a surface level thing. There's a lot more going on inside that you really need to look into. Fifth meme, I got that right this time. And it's a car and it says, why is it legal to modify my gender, but illegal to mod modify my exhaust? Firstly, I don't change my gender because I've always been a man. I just didn't know I was a man um, until 20 something years later of my life. Um, I do not modify my gender um, because this has always been me. I just didn't realize it's me. Secondly, if this person is talking about changing like, like legally recognized gender, um, I don't think you realize, well, luckily for me in my state of Victoria, Australia, um, the government is making a lot of progress in doing that. I did get my legally recognized gender um, changed two years ago um, and now it's a lot more progressive um, and accessible for trans people and um, the government is is working on stuff here which I'm very grateful for but I know in some other states in Australia it's not um, so uh, inclusive um, but generally speaking, not from my state of Victoria, there are a lot of places where being trans is illegal, let alone changing gender on birth certificate um, or even being acknowledged like that legally. Like it's illegal to be trans, let alone change um, gender on legal documentation. So the person who wrote this transphobic polls clearly has no idea how hard it is for trans people to be recognized as their gender legally. It's not, it's not, um, it's not legal in a lot of places. So, um, you need to go fact check your own post because, uh, you clearly just spewing transphobia again and don't really know what the hell is actually going on in the real world for trans people. Second last meme um, is like a creature and then a character and the creature is scared and that's the trans community in this post and the character is the fifth grade biology book and the character is saying it's afraid. So the post is saying trans people are afraid afraid of basic biology. Um, jokes on you because sex and gender are not the same thing, so jokes on you. And um, being human is a lot more complex than fifth grade biology, so jokes is also on you. Um, also being trans is not defined, like gender is not defined by biological sex whatsoever. Um, they're two very different things. Um, and if you're referring to biology determining sex, biological sex, I will agree with that, but biology does not define gender. So.
Also, if you're using fifth grade biology to try and erase trans people, that's a very, 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 very low bar to set, to be honest. Um, if you just rely on fifth grade biology to justify why trans people are not real and that trans people don't exist because there's clear evidence that um, outweighs your fifth grade biology book argument. Um, can fifth grade biology explain why um, I grew up in a cis, very cis-oriented world, I didn't know about trans people for the first 20 years of my life, and um, I had all these cis, uh, cisgender world ideals implanted into me, taught into me that being trans is wrong, um, and after all this lack of trans rep in my life, um, I'm still trans. Can fifth grade biology explain that? And I'm looking down because my phone's here and I'm looking at the meme. Can fifth grade biology explain that? Use fifth grade biology to explain that. Go, I'm waiting. Also, as a trans guy, I am not afraid of a fifth grade biology book that transphobes news to try and erase my identity with. Um, it's in fact the transphobic people who are afraid because their only source of um, justification is a fifth grade biology book. And um, yeah, they're afraid of change, they're afraid of as I said before, new things, the world not being as they were taught, um, and it freaks them out for some reason. And that's a, something that these transphobic people really need to work on in themselves, and it has nothing to do with trans people. The last meme, which is very, very interesting. Um, Okay, a parent and their kid. The kid pointing to a tattoo, um, tattoo parlor saying like they want a tattoo and the parents saying, you're not old enough for that. And then the parent walking into uh, a gender affirmation surgical clinic with the child for, I think, gender affirming surgery. I don't... <sighs> Trans, transphobic people who make these posts really don't know the reality of this shit. Like, they really don't know the reality of how hard it is to get surgery, the hoops that trans people have to jump through to get surgery, the amount of gatekeeping by cis people, trans people that go through to get the, the support we need, whether it's legal changes, social, um, medical transition stuff. It's not... I want surgery, go into a clinic the same day, an hour later, come in, uh, an hour later, come out uh, differently because the surgeon performs surgery. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. You transphobic people really need to fact check shit. And it's not even a, it's not even something like I can debate because your argument is like already invalid based on reality of of what it's like and how hard it is so reality already like voids your argument and it it doesn't work like that i'm an adult and i had to go through a bunch of hoops to get top surgery a child wanting top surgery or whatever um gender affirming surgery it is it's going to jump through a lot more hoops than um, an adult because they're a lot younger. It's not going to a clinic, an hour later come out um, with surgery done. It doesn't work like that. Think about this. A lot of places, trans people can't even exist without being questioned or being uh, invalidated or discouraged from being trans and 
being harassed, being abused, being targeted. Trans people can't even just exist in peace. And transphobic people who make posts like this think that we can just go into a clinic, say we want gender affirming surgery and get it like this. Like, are you serious? Like, think about that. You think it's that easy for trans people living in a world where most power is controlled by cis people to be able to get something this e like something we really need this easily. Like, think about that. There aren't even laws protecting trans people in some places. And it's illegal to be trans in some places, a lot of places. And you, again, think we can just walk into a gender clinic and being like, I want surgery and we get it like, like that. Like, are you serious? Oh my God. I, I don't even know how to comprehend this. Like the only thing that tattoos, like, like going to a tattoo place and getting tattooed, not fake tattoos and gender affirming surgery have in common is that it's permanent. That's the only commonality I can think of is that they're both permanent. Other than that, I don't really know because they're completely different realms. They're completely two different things. And, um, you know, I just thought another way to interpret this meme is that the parent of this, this kid is taking them in to the clinic to start discussing um, options uh, to support the child um, with um, trans stuff. So that's actually a, a, a very positive thing. Um, you know, going in there, starting the conversation early, that's, that's completely okay. Like starting the conversation early, how can they be supported and stuff like that. Um, that's a very positive thing, actually. That's another flip on this, um, what's meant to be a transphobic meme is, you know, taking in to start the conversation, which is, which is very good because that means this parent is an ally. So taking the kid to have conversations with professionals about uh, medical transition. It's very positive actually so that's all the memes i had for this video folks i just i just am getting like really tired of like stupid transphobia um i don't really go online that much therefore i don't really see it until unless i like actively search it up like this but shit like this happens goes down online a lot a lot of transphobia still in the world a lot of transphobia still on the web um in media and i just i'm sick of it um, I just want to live my life. My people just want to live our lives and just be respected, have rights and be able to do things without cis people gatekeeping and controlling everything we want to do because we don't have power. Um, and I, I injected more like try to be funny sometimes because it's the other side of me that I keep repressing because I think I'm too serious even in making videos. Um, I'm too serious about everything and I think my humorous side is starting to come out more and it wants to come out more and it's just like low-key roast people because um, I can't always be too nice to people so yeah um, I hope you enjoy, enjoyed the video different location too this is my room I never filmed here before um, so uh, I think I like this spot so I think I'm gonna eventually film more videos here um, I hope you all enjoyed um, and I hope we all learned something today about the realities of trans experiences and how transphobic people think it's so simple but it's not really not. Um, thanks for watching folks and I will see you in the next video.